name is Bob Trent. I represent the people here at the General Motors Technical Center in Warren, Michigan. As you know, our new Chevrolet Task Force trucks are tailor-made for as many differences in climate, terrain, and load hauling as there are occupations. That takes in a lot of people. But you know, that's something we get quite a kick out of here, knowing that when we develop and test our trucks, we're helping people in all kinds of jobs. For instance, take someone like William L. Mann of Kill Devil Hills near Cape Hatteras in North Carolina. Bill has been an independent contractor for over 20 years and can't think of anything he'd rather do. His biggest job is locating and hauling gravel, an important job in this area where wind, water, and storms constantly change the face of the land. At times, Bill works from dawn till dark, searching the beach for gravel deposits left by the tide. Then they must be scooped up before the next tide washes them back out to sea. On stormy windswept Cape Hatteras property, covering the sand with an inch or two of gravel can mean the difference between land or sea. Bill Mann is 39 years old, married, the father of three girls. His hobbies, beside his family, are hunting and fishing. And here, of course, he finds one of the best fishing waters in the country. He has a tractor with a trailer for big loads and on-the-road travel, besides his dump truck with four-wheel drive. Bill likes the hard work healthy hours, as he calls them, and being his own boss. He often leaves the dump truck on the beach overnight. The next morning, there's no need to dig it out. He simply gets in and drives off, sometimes in water up to the bumpers. For with all the wind, sand, storms, and heavy loads, Bill finds Chevrolet the ideal truck for his work. Because day after day, Bill Mann's truck does its job faithfully and reliably. How come? Because it's been there before. Yes, right here at the Tech Center, long before it went into mass production, a model of his truck was subjected to temperatures as high as 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And for cold weather driving, all parts were tested at temperatures as low as 20 degrees below zero. In the wind tunnel, winds up to 65 miles an hour tested the lines of every model. In the brine tank, strong solutions of salt spray splashed on chassis and body and simulated flood conditions of more than a foot of water. The metal and paint finishes were exposed to extreme degrees of sunlight, humidity, heat, cold, dew, and salt splash. All these tests explain why, no matter how penetrating or corroding the moisture in the air, or how violent the storms. A Chevrolet truck performs better, more economically, and with less maintenance because it's been there before. You know, for adventure, the exciting promise of riches overnight, mining for uranium on the Colorado Plateau appeals to almost every man. For example, take a man like Sherman Asplund. With 32 years experience in mining in North and South America, he is an authority on diamond core drilling. Sherman is the field superintendent and general troubleshooter for a uranium mining company in Moab, Utah. His trailer, in which he and his wife have lived for 11 years, has a direct phone to company headquarters and a two-way radio to all its mines. Going from one job to another, Sherman often works around the clock, seven days a week. That often means traveling over crude, rough roads carved out of the mountainside. Sherman says he hasn't found a place where his truck won't go through, over, or under. Sometimes he's had to back up to get a running start, but he's always made it. Once in a while, when he's stumped by a new problem, Sherman takes off for a few hours of fishing at the river. Does a heap of fixing, he says. He has only two beeps about his truck. It won't go until he puts it in gear and he still hasn't been able to wean it away completely from gasoline. Each day, Sherman drives great distances going from one drilling operation to another. Yes, over the rugged wilderness of the Great Plateau, Sherman Asplund's truck meets every challenge successfully because it's been there before. A model of Sherman's truck was put through 900 bumps a minute so engineers could study their effects on springs, shock absorbers, engine and body mountings. Stress concentrations under actual road conditions were recorded. 
Vibration frequencies at varying speeds and degrees of roughness were studied to overcome problems of metal fatigue. Truck as well as car transmissions were tested under conditions similar to a climb up Pikes Peak, including road grades and hairpin turns, putting trucks through more grueling trials than the wildest terrain of the Colorado Plateau can provide. Cliff Morgan has the kind of job that most of us at one time or another think that we'd like. Cliff is the timber boss for a big lumber company in the Pacific Northwest. Forty years old, Cliff has worked in the woods for over 22 years. He uses his truck for an office and for transportation, carrying anything from dynamite or injured men to spare parts for heavy equipment. He works the year round, except for about six weeks in winter when snow usually closes down the entire woods. In logging parlance, a show is the area in the center of a good stand of trees that are to be taken down. Cliff plans every show, builds the roads and bridges to bring out the logs, and selects the right men for the work. Now, with a hundred men under him, he works from 5.30 every morning until 6 or 7 at night, sometimes staying in the woods for days in time of deadlines, floods, or fires. Every two hours during the day, Cliff checks the weather forecast on his two-way radio. Wind changes, rain and fire are constant danger. And when the humidity falls to 30%, it is an unwritten law of the woods that all work stops. The danger from fires is so great that even all combustion engines are shut off. Cliff's hobbies are night baseball and fishing, but most of the time he's working. And there isn't a job he asks his men to do that he hasn't done himself. From fallers, the men who saw down the trees, to buckers, the men who cut the fallen trees into various lengths. To the dumpers, who dump the logs into the river where they are hauled away to the sawmill by tugboat. Throughout Cliff's job, Top performance, economy, and reliability under tough operating conditions are musts for his vehicle. Yet Cliff Morgan's truck meets every test. Why? Because it's been there before. Yes, long before Cliff's truck was put into production, durability tests forced the engine through an entire lifespan of normal use within the space of a few days. Brake linings were checked under high brake drum temperatures to find out how well the brake lining material kept its friction quality. Metal alloys were checked for constant friction wear resistance characteristics. Torsion strengths of various steels for crankshafts were tested for long life endurance. Today, nearly 140 million miles of experience and an accumulation of more than 30 years of testing know-how go into the day and night round-the-clock trials of Chevrolet Task Force trucks. Perhaps this is why people like you have bought more Chevrolet trucks than any other, year after year for more than 19 years. You know a Chevrolet Task Force truck is tailor-made to give maximum performance, economy, and reliability wherever it is called upon to operate because it's been there before.